Welcome back, everyone. Well, tonight I thought I'd do a uh, little bit of a different video again. We're going to go back to the stamps for like one or two uh, videos here. And we'll be back on the train board. But the only reason why we're waiting is is because uh, I had to order the flex track for the board. No hobby store around here had it and everything. So instead of just being, you know, kind of non-existent or whatever... I just thought, well, I'll put a video out maybe of, a, you know, another year or two of the different stamps that I have. Kind of, you know, show everybody and what they look like and what they were, you know, how much they were back then. So we're going to do this one in two parts. This is going to be, um, there's 14 stamps total. I'm going to do seven in the first one here and seven in the second half. And these were from 1957 commemorative stamps. And the cost of a stamp in 1957 for the commemorative ones was three cents a piece. And so let's um, get started with the first one here. Our first one is of Alexander Hamilton. It's a uh, three cent res, uh, rose red. It says George Washington's aide de camp during the Revolutionary War. Hamilton was instrumental in early development of the United States. He was killed in a duel with Aaron Burr in 1804, and that's um, this one right here. I'm trying to, you know, uh, not show the glare there, but uh, there's that one. Really uh, nice stamp, nice uh, red rose red there. Okay, the next one is now they say this is red lilac. I don't see how, but, but anyways, um, it's a three cent polio stamp. Issued on the 10th anniversary of the March of Dimes, the stamp honors the medical profession like Dr. Jonah Salk, who worked to eradicate polio. And again, they say it's a red lilac. I, yeah, maybe you can see a little bit better. Um, to me, that looks like it's pink, but they say it's red lilac, so... But there's that one. Okay, the next one is, let's see, Coast and Geo, uh, hold on, I can't see that. Geotetic Survey. It's a dark blue. It was issued on the 150th verse anniversary of the Coast, Coast and Genocide Survey, which allowed, which aids sailors and engineers by marking contour maps and I, I hope i was saying that right if i'm not i'm sorry but there's that one right there okay the next one is called architects it's uh, again red lilac i don't know where they get this red lilac but anyways <laughs> founded on february 23rd in 1857 the American Institute of Architects provides a network in which architects can find school of architectural and other architectural information. The Institute also gives awards for excellence in architecture. So there's that one there. This is a real simple stamp. I mean, that one, yeah, that's a real simple one, but not too bad. Now the darker blue one here we got coming up. It's, um, they say it's bright ultramarine. Which, I mean, I, I really like this color blue. I call it blue, but but um, anyways, we have the steel industry. Um, it was the growth of the American steel industry began with the discovery of the Bessemer process in which iron with high carbon content is turned into steel. And uh, again, there's that one there. And I like I say, I really like this kind of color of the stamp. And I also like this next one too this uh, kind of color, but um, the next one is the International Naval Review. They claim that this is a blue green, but I think it's more green, but hey, it could be, this be me. Um, this was issued in conjunction with the International Naval Review. The stamp commemorates the 100th or 350th anniversary of Janestown Colony, the first permanent English settlement in the new world. And again, I mean, they say that's a bluish green. I don't know. To me, that looks more green than it does bluish green. But 
but not a bad little stamp. And the final one um, in our 1957 commemorative series here, or at least the part one of it, it's a dark blue Oklahoma statehood. Acquired by the United States as part of the Louisiana Purchase, Oklahoma became um, territory, uh, territory in the 1830s and in 1907 became the 46th state to join the Union. And there's that one showing Oklahoma. You know what? Since this is kind of a short video, I think what we're gonna do is is we're gonna we're gonna do the um, the other half. So give me a second, and I'll be right back. All right, so we'll continue on. I mean, that was a short one, and um, I might as well just do the whole thing in in one sitting here. So, um, so anyways, we're moving on to the next page in our book here, and the next one up is a rose colored stamp, and it was called School Teachers. The National Education Association of the United States was created to improve public education and classroom uh, conditions and to increase compensation for school employees. And there's that one right there. I mean, like I said, I hope everybody can see it. You know, I'm, I'm trying my best here to, um, you know, show everybody and make sure there's no glare on them. But, uh, you know, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. <laughs> but, all right, the next one. It's a dark blue and deep uh Car carmen carmen whatever uh, but anyways this is a four cent one this one um was a one penny more back in that time actually there's two of them that are different yeah different prices this one and one more here but this one's the american flag and uh the stamp was first issued using the u.s flag as a central design it also first issued to be printed by the bureau of engraving and printing in its natural colors in one operation with the new multicolor press with the new multicolor press and there's that one and like i say you see all the stamps you know i've got them all like i say again in these uh protective sleeves like that that's because i don't you know i don't touch them with my bare hands because they're all mint stamps and they all have the um the uh original gum on the back of them and everything so you know i don't i don't want to get them uh wrecked or anything so um so i do this you know before I, I show everybody um now we're back to the three cent one here and this is a deep violet it's called shipbuilding until the late 1700s maine virgin white pines were used to make ships shipbuilding was important throughout maine history since at first since its first merchant ship virginia of second uh, let's see here Sing an hawk or whatever. And again, if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sorry. It was built uh, at Popham Colony. And not to say there's that one there. Showing that, the shipbuilding one. Then our next one is the other one that is a different uh, cost in this one. And this one actually has the uh, perforated, um, I'll show you, just show you real quick. This has the, the perforated piece on it, so I just left it as it was. But this one is, it's a, um, let's see here. It's, it's, this one is uh, Raymond Magagsway, I believe it's pronounced. The son of a farmer, Raymond led uh, the Philippine, Philippine guerrillas in the fight against Japanese invaders during World War II. He served as Philippine president from 1953 until his death in a plane crash in 1957. This issue is part of the Champions of Liberty series. And uh, again, you can see that one right there. All right. The next one is a, uh, again, a Rose Lake color. And it's called the Lafayette Bicentenary. Uh, let's see. The Marquis de Lafayette. Lafayette, yeah, volunteered his military services in uh, in the war for the American independence. In France, he lobbied for the French support of the American interest. And there's that one right there. That's a, like I said, another nice stamp. And we got two more here. The next one up is our wildlife conservation. It says blue, ochre, and green. 
It says the whooping crane symbolized the need for protection on this fourth stamp in the wildlife conservation series. Whoppers began to die out during the 1800s when settlers disturbed their habitats. And there's that one right there. I guess, you know, the little ones with it. And the final, um, the final one in this uh, 1957 series. This is uh, called um, Religious Freedoms. In 1657, 29 citizens of Flushing and two from Jamaica challenged the anti-Quaker law of Peter Stigonovan, or whatever, governor of the uh, New Amsterdam. Their uh, protest defended the principle of religious, religious freedoms. And there's that one right there. And that is the complete series for 1957. Now, just looking at uh, the other ones that I've got here yet. I know I've got a lot, and I'm, try I'm trying to, you know, space these out. But um, we still have, let's see here. We still have this one more in this bag, which came with the 1957. And I believe this is 19, what is this one? 1978, which is um, got about 28 stamps. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, we have part of the um, airmail collection ones yet. We have more of them. That That's a whole nother series. We have, uh, let's see, that's just the uh, heritage ones. That's not the ones I'm looking for. Not the one I'm looking for. Some of these are just uh, like freebie ones that I got, you know, when I ordered the um, collections. Uh, here, we got one here. Uh, let's see, 18 mint stamps on the 1991 collection. So we got that one. And uh, we got uh, another 91 collection, 17. So that's 91 is a pretty big year. Let's see, we have a 19, I believe this one was already done. Let me just look here in the book here real quick. 1961. 60, 60. No, we don't. So this one was start of 1961. Okay, it's 61 through 65, but they sent me the 61. So we have 1961 and again, um, 1971. So those are respectively 12 stamps and 23 stamps. So we got that to do. And let's see, the final ones in these years, we have um, 1958 with 21 and 1967 with 15. Um, you know, again, pretty big, pretty big stack there. So out of uh, all the stacks that we have, we have, let's see, one, two, four, five. We got six more packages and probably like two years in each one. So we got a little bit to go yet, but, but anyways, um, like I say, I just decided to, you know, throw this one out there since we're waiting on the, the flex track. But as soon as we get the flex track, we're going to go back to the train board. So, like I say, just uh, bear with me while I'm waiting for it to be shipped. I don't know exactly how fast they say they can get it here, but, you know, we'll wait and see what happens. So, all right, everyone. Well, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time right here on from Toys to Trains. See you later, everyone. Bye.